Now, what is this chilled stone altar? I think this is where the stars go. Oh, yeah, and I guess we put the stars in other slots over here. Oh, and the night lich came, but where is the night lich? Uh, um, all right. Hello and welcome and guess who I found? Well, it's my like third guy, but again to show you a night talker. Yeah, this dude. So he is not that hard to kill, apparently. And I was scared for nothing. Goodbye, my good sir. And yeah, I've been doing some stuff. I've been mining. And while I have been mining, I can say I just found some exciting stuff that I'm gonna show you just in a moment. Before we begin video, be sure to check out our host, BerryBite. They are a very reputable and very good host. And let's begin. Oh hell nah. Oh hell nah. How long can you stretch your head? You are not something cool I wanted to show you guys. Exactly. So, long story short, on my mining trips, I found this. And I wanted to explore this with you guys since I don't know what it is. But we will find out in a moment. When in Rome. Okay, when in Rome, then what? You kill skeletons. And more skeletons. And yeah, we are at the point that we just one-shot the boys. Oh, and yeah. Upstairs, uh, a lot of stuff has happened. So yeah. I'm gonna show you that in a moment when we secure those spawners. Oh, but it's pretty nice. A fire aspect sword. You know, this would be pretty good if we were starting, you know, this series. But the issue now is, take a look where... Oops, I'm getting attacked. We don't have time to watch this, just give me a second. So, the, look at where it is. It's right under our house. All this time we had all of this under our house. So, there is a zombie holding a diamond and armored zombie coming at us. But the issue with you zombies is... I'm a bit over leveled for you. And hello there, skeleton. Oh, what is going on? Is whole army attacking me or what? Oh, hello there, noisemakers. Goodbye there, noisemakers. Bye bye. There is like never ending flow of zombies. Like, I don't know what it is, but I just want to get out and clear the spawners. But it's just like never ending waterfall. Yeah, like they fell in my other hole too. So I think I already see what I want to make of this dungeon. Since it's right under our house. I think there's no better place for an XP farm. Since it's just wave after wave after wave after wave of zombies. And drums begin in the distance. Great. What is this? Some kind of chamber area? Or some kind of cult area? Well, the loot was either way bad. But at least we can use the schools for the chemical explosion. And another waterfall of zombies is coming towards my way. That's just amazing. Oh my god, look how many is down there. And they can't get to me. Perfect situation for XP. Oh, and this is perfect. Look, a spawner here and a spawner here. I think I could make this into some kind of XP farm. Unless I found even closer spawners. So, let's create the spawner or at least try to create a spawner form. For, I mean, farm. And voila, the spawner room is done, so I guess let's see how it works.
So let's see if the rewards are worth it. So prepare your ears because they're gonna bleed right now from the amount of zombies. Or not. Oh, but maggots. I forgot about maggots. I had maggots. But yeah, seems like a good stuff. So finally, now let me update you on all the stuff that I done so far. So let's begin from the basics. As you can see, uh, yeah, the eyes, of course, eyes are here. And this thing, advanced virus terminal. So what is advanced virus terminal? It basically is what it says. It allows us to use, well, this crafting terminal from wherever, as long as we have what? A beacon, right. As long as we have beacon. But not any level beacon, but a level 4 beacon. So yeah, I also made a full iron, well, beacon for our advanced virus terminal so we can access it in any dimension. Oh, and I made the outside thing. Now, the other thing is, as you can see, it's awfully quiet in here. And that is because this is empty apart those, you know, few iron golems. Like, there is no one there. So what happened? I moved all the villagers in my new trading hall. Yay! Because I never made a trading hall, so I have no idea what I done. But I seen some videos and how it looks like, and hopefully this is it. I don't know if they need beds, but you know, they got a bed, they got a job block. Some of them are protesting like this guy to not get a job for whatever reason. But yeah, most of them have jobs like this guy doesn't want to take this job too, for whatever reason. This guy is, well, he's free because he doesn't have a bed and likes this area. And yeah, all in all, fun stuff. As you can see, we can motivate them with the belt. So they are run around. And I have a crafting terminal here too. I pulled the cables all the way back from the base, well, to here. So I have access to there, inside of base, outside of base, and everywhere I want. All right, and I moved the animals closer here hold on oh that's a okay goodbye i didn't realize that was an event well they got me there i guess i mean i could have gotten the the the, the, the skeleton horse but it's over with that but yeah as you can see i moved the animals over here and yeah and one more thing is that as you can see i flattened land a lot more why? I have no idea. I just like, you know, doing whatever this is, flattening the land. So now I have this whole area, which I'm still debating if I should level out, like dig this block out, or if I should level it out in this area and fill all the blocks in. So I guess I'll have that resolved by the next episode, but yeah, that's that. Oh, and a less important stuff, but I filled all the creeper holes around the base. So it doesn't look like a war zone anymore. So yeah, that's also that what I did. And uh, made some progress on the ice. I forgot which one, but as you can see... Oh, right, I will play a video right now, after I stop talking. I actually encountered the... 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 the how do you call him? The... the guy. Uh, how is it called? We needed him. Where is it? Ah, right, here it is. The Nightmare Claw. The the big bad boy. Yeah, I, I'm gonna play the video right now. And as you can see from him, we got that uh, the Nightmare Claw. Which we finally, well, encountered him. And he wasn't that strong. So, yeah, I guess that's that. There's not much else to say. Apart from, let's begin with the video for the second time. Probably I'm gonna demolish more homes when I get bored. Like, I don't like that village, that ghost village over there. But I have another thing on my list, and that is Soul Star. So we can throw those, and it leads us to a boss that I want to fight. Because if I, want that, uh, if I kill that boss, there is item that allows us to well basically create a flight in seven times seven area which might be useful for some boss fights if we can get it you know 
around the boss fights and all I'm missing is Ancient Anima. I actually realized we should be able to mine this Zephyr deposit right now. And what does it do? Oh no, oh no. Don't tell me that. Please tell me what the hell is that? Skills, Gale Storm, Dual Gale Storm, Full Force Whirlwind. Roar of the Wind and Zephyrs that will, and passive Agile and Benev Benevolent Soul. Oh my god, that's a lot of to read. For how many those deposits there are, I'm really not surprised by them. And come on, of course, the cab needs to eat and the phone needs to vibrate, exactly when I record. Like, you know, people know when you record, and that is a curse. And of course, cat knows when I'm recording, so he's eating and destroying his... He is bold right now because, you know, if you can hear that even on microphone, I mean, I'm mad, but probably you can't hear that. Okay, maybe with vibrations you can, but this idiot of a cat, maybe you can't. I just realized I didn't need to craft the boat big Terminal out of range? Who are you? What? It's not out of range. It should be available across anywhere, as it says. Yeah, when you realize that is kind of misleading if that's not working. I mean, it says range 64 blocks, but at the same time it says build a level for beacon to make it accessible from anywhere across the mansions. So what? Is it accessible from anywhere 64 blocks from the spawn or where is it located or what? That's useless. So on side note, someone said that Maybe claiming the area, uh, not this, the bigger map, where our home is, might make the thing load. Uh, but how do I claim it? Do I need to be near it to claim or can I claim? No, 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 I don't want to claim that, I want to, yeah, okay. Ah, I see, force loaded. Ah! So we need to get a portal home. Oh, and you see this guy? Watch him die. So you remember how before he made me have issues, eh? And how he killed me. Well, guess what? It's not me who's gonna die this time, it's him. And that's gonna be every time. From now on till, well, end of the series. Come on, maggots. F.O. And yeah, since, you know, we unlocked the hard mode, there are like 50 new zombies. Why are you mad? And 50 new mobs. And why do you have full HP, my guy? What? You should be dead by now. Goodbye. Oh, and another spider. No, not, not, not another spider, that's a dog. And this guy. You both gonna die right now. Yeah, that's what I thought. Disappear. And that's one fast dog. And what the... What? That's a new creeper and a new mob. Who, what are you? Revenant. Okay, you just disappeared. But what is this creeper? Phantom creeper, what? Okay. Interesting. I really hate this debuff. Alright, then one more important thing I totally forgot. I created dioxide armor and tools, which seems to be very strong. Well, dioxide pickaxe and sword, but armor is here, because we require a netherite for that and... Yeah. You know what would be amazing? If we found here the sea temple, because we are not freezing in this area, but I think that's not gonna be our luck. Yeah, we are not freezing, but we are getting... Oh, come on. Nah, I don't wanna fight you. Oh, and that is what we are looking for. That's the tower that the soul stars are leading us to. So, hopefully... What are you? Ooh, skelly bag. Yeah, honestly, it had a bone to pick. And I just realized this is, again, one of those biomes that, yeah, have a lot of those stuff. That has freezing water, probably. Not, not yet. Okay. Now I want to get my advanced wireless terminal working before I enter there, so... 
Yeah, let me find a village somewhere around here. For this time of camera, while I was using the wireless terminal, I got so used to it that I feel handicapped without it, like I need it to work, it's my addiction. I want all my items in a click, I don't need a backpack, I don't need anything. I just need my wireless terminal, and that's that. Well, I found the treasure map, so let's see if we can find the treasure. Even though treasure is not what I'm looking for, because it has no waste on. For me. And here we go. Let's see what is there in the treasure. Oh. A lot of water which we don't need. Uh, nothing special. Boo hoo coconut. Okay, that's, that is a special thing. And trasher. Oh, that trasher tooth. Oh, I so don't like that. Oof, I hate trashers. And we found this temple, whatever, jiggy. But if I'm not wrong, there is no waystone inside one of those. Because technically it's a village, but it's also not a village. Actually, there's a village on the other side now when I'm looking at the map. Oh yeah, it's pretty hidden, but it's there. Perfect, hopefully they have a waystone. Ah, there we go. I force load the chunks. And now we can use the wireless kit. Amazing. Time to go and get back to the boss arena and beat some boss. Uh, cheeks. I guess that's it. Oh, and look, it's a Minecraft Diddy. Or not. Who am I to judge? Now when I realize I need to go all the way up here to, I think, somewhere around here. Man, that tower is so far away. Let's check what this thing is. Maybe that's another tower. And there's a lot of... I guess that's trees. Well, indeed, this is some kind of... Whatever, I don't even know. Cave? And there's no reason by the looks of it to be inside of here. So, eh. Max structure. It's nice looking, but... I don't... Wait, that's permafrost. Can they make with permafrost something? Nah, just a lot of runes. Eh, useless stuff. And we are back at the castle, or tower, or spire, or whatever you want to call it. Oh, I am dumb. My waystone is in the ender pouch. Smart guy, smart guy really indeed. I'm gonna go and grab some backup food and yeah, let's go inside. And we are entering. Looks like there's a spawner with skeletons and a chest here with nothing interesting, of course. What did I expect? And there's a spawner over here. Okay, easy clear. I think this is a bit easy during the day because mobs can really spawn over here. Since, you know, it's light. Light up. Now, what is this? Chilled stone altar? I think this is where the stars go. Oh, yeah, and I guess we put the stars in other slots over here. Oh, and the night lich came, but where is the night lich? Uh, um, all right. I heard someone TP. Oh, he's outside. Please don't tell me you require a bow to be fought. Because this is gonna be an interesting fight. Well, he seems like he requires a bow. So that's great. Oh well. I got the bow and let's shoot the guy. Yeah, this is gonna be a really interesting fight. Just shooting at him and hopefully at some point he comes down to us. Because man, he's not strong, he's just annoying. Did he go down? How did you get up there? Man. Yeah. Da da da. Come on, come, come, come down. And this is the worst place to... Ow. To fight the guy on a ice that breaks. The most fragile biome ever. Well, at least all those 
arrows I gathered are coming into use. How are you not dying? Am I missing you? There's no way I'm such a bad guy with a bow. Oh. Ow. Okay, he has some kind of... Come on. Some kind of white circle around him. And he's now even faster than before and he's waving with his hands. And there are zombies coming for me. Oh god. This is the worst place indeed to fight this guy. I got power 5 bow. Is he spawning? Oh my god. From all the things you can spawn, you choose to spawn phantoms. Come on. Don't move so much, please. Yeah, this is the one of the more annoying fights I think I have right now. I don't know why those bosses tend to be so annoying. So, the Coralia, General Coralia, or whatever her name is, was also on ice and was also annoying. And this guy spawned a shit ton of phantoms that do absolutely nothing. Oh, we got him less than half of HP. And he does... Woo! He indeed does damage to us. Yeah, let me just eat my man. Go... Wait, 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 wait a second. Yeah, wave your hands like that. Just do your stuff. I don't mind. You got your meat shields ready, phantoms. Okay. Come here, don't you go away. Am I missing so much shots? Yeah. Okay. I think one more shot and he is dead. Yes, we got him. We got him. And... Did he drop something? Oh, hello. Did that something go down? Oh, there's a lot of stuff he dropped. Okay, okay. Anything else? Looks like to be all. Oh no, treasures. Oh no, oh no. Run away. And we got ancient enema crystals, which we basically came for. Oh! Go away. And I can't really believe the... Which boss guy is not on the challenge list by the looks of it. So that's sad. I mean, maybe we can go home and cry. I guess let's see what does this tower offer us. Let's explore it fully. Since the boss is dealt with. Bye bye skeleton, your boss is gone and the furnace is nothing. And what does this chest offer us? Absolutely nothing useful. Well, the loot here was mediocre at best. And voila, we got table of elevation. And now we can fly in 7x7x7 seven 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 area. Which is indicated by those really hard to see particles. But yeah, we are flying in survival and I'm gonna use this on our adventures as it is pretty useful since we don't take fall damage either way and yeah, I mean I'm gonna use this for building too because you know, why the hell not? I still need to build stuff and this will go greatly if I need to go down or up and you know, the stuff. Oh, and I just realized we can craft a void lily, so maybe we can go after the second boss on, you know, the next episode. And how does it work? Uh, I'm confused. It says, where does it lead? But it's not doing anything as far as I can see. Uh... Yeah, not sure how to use it. Oh, I see actually. Hold on, hold on. What? You want to say that there's a boss under me? Underground here? Huh? Really? Ah, you know what? We're gonna leave that for the next episode. Do our 
daily crunching, whatever that is, daily laying, and yeah, you know the drill, it's time to end the video, yay, see you guys next time and stay awesome, bye! We'll be